Oh, this looks high tech. It's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. What could this? You bastards! If you've come this far, that means you've solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent teamwork. Yeah. What teamwork? It's just Shuichi. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are scariest when they finally snap. I'm certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? Say nothing, Shuichi. Oh, yes, we should explain this room. So, this is the computer room. Computer room? Ah. But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is, like, super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing you can even use it to create a new world. A new world? Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Uh, you totally said way too much. Sorry. Ah, I knew it. Oh. You're so forgetful, Mon Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. Oh. Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Monopony? Eh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? Hey. So why didn't you? I cannot forgive that. Your friends, right? So why didn't you help him? Uh, well, uh. I will not forgive that. If you can't get along, you will be punished. You too, Monotaro. Friends share everything, even punishments. Yeah. Backfire. So long. Farewell. Drags them off to the torture chamber. This machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? But... I'm not good with computers. I don't think I'd understand it no matter how much I investigate. Yeah, but we're gonna do it anyway. So there's our light. Not much to look at in here, really. The computer, the monitor, and the chest. So let's slap around this incredibly important computer equipment. There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world. What could that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. I kind of wonder if that has to do with, you remember at the beginning when the game was kind of wacky and it's like, oh no, we weren't supposed to do this, let's restart and give everyone their own personalities. I kind of wonder if it had something to do with that. It's a monitor... Makes me feel sick! Okay. So we're too stupid to mess with computers, clearly. Ah, a treasure chest! I understand how those work! little detective brain understands. I opened the chest eagerly and... I found one. A flashback light. With this, I can find out what this place is, why we're here. <laughs> oh, you found the flashback light! Wow, you're pretty dependable despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. Don't let Kokichi anywhere near that flashback light. He's probably going to hold it hostage. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. He chatted away, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left, waving goodbye. Well, I think we're done in here. So presumably there's more floors, I'm pretty sure. 
but I'm not exactly sure where we get to them. It could be... Okay, so there's a couple options. One is I'm thinking the ultimate entomologist, or anthropologist, sorry, lab, goes pretty tall. That's one option. Another option is this hanging scroll. It's probably the hanging scroll. I bet we have to, like, set it on fire or something. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I'm pretty sure that's the way. Another option could be something with these three rooms. They're still incredibly suspicious. And I'm not exactly sure what's going on with them. Let me, uh, warp downstairs, because it's going to take a little while to walk. Really? Shuichi? Is it true that you found another flashback light? Okay. Yes, it's true. I see. Wait, so Kokichi wasn't lying. I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Thank goodness. See? I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing, too, because I don't want my pants on fire. Actually... I want to start talking about what we're going to do. But Kaito isn't here yet. Ah. Maki's not here, either. Oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? You didn't invite her? Hey, hey! Forget about that killer. Hey me, you key boy. Did you guys see the computer room on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey! Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you like to take a look later? You or Kibo might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry, I'm not very computer savvy. What? Oh, is that so? That's unexpected. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask, but... Kibo, what is your talent exactly? Well... I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh, yes. I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows, if I do say so myself. Don't worry. Kibo's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. Do not mock me! I just told you I'm good at one-man comedy shows! Hmm. I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? <laughs> and I'm not gonna come just for some computer. It's gonna take way more than that. Uh, um... Uh, well, the Monocubs did say it was amazing. Yo! Hey, thanks for waiting. Well, you brought Maki, too. Ah. Uh. Kaito, and... Huh? Maki? Why is Maki with you? Oh yeah, this is something I wanted to check out and I totally forgot to do. The report card for Maki, does that change? Now? Or does it still say the same thing? Yeah, it changed to Ultimate Assassin. So she's not the ultimate child caregiver. Which makes sense, because she's not a very nice person. <laughs> Why is Maki with you? Of course! Well, this is about that flashback light. So everyone should be here, yeah? <laughs> but when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? <sighs> I'm leaving. Come on, Wait, man. hold on a sec. Kaido gripped Maki's arm before she could leave. By the way... Kaito, you didn't say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever. Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take her down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so... I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um... Is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? Okay. Yes. Really? But... Why, you hide that? Isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. That's wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Huh? What? Because... When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually that fear will turn to hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... 
I just assassin on the side. It's not like it's my thing or anything. That's not... What's the point? Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Uh, always? Hmm. You've lived a pretty sad life, Maki. That's so mean. Oh, poor, poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life is no value to you now, is that it? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to... <laughs> hey, can you let go of me now? Hmm? Uh, oh. Kaido finally let go of her arm, and Maki let out a sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret, and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. But someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Huh? Are you talking about me? Well... However, I'll say this. I've no intention of killing any of you, unless one of you tries to kill me first. <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then... So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Maki. It started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaito, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you. Right, guys? No. I wouldn't say that, but... Tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback light, yes? Everyone! Yes. So have we all decided what we're going to do? Sneak attack! Use it, of course. We might be able to remember something new. <sighs> like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy crap. Of course it's got something to do with why. Hey! Hey, instead of arguing, it'd be way faster to just use it, you know? You're right. Yeah. Go to worry, but we gotta do it. But, but... No matter what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come on! If you think like that... We'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding me! I know that. And we can't go around repeating ourselves. We must do it. Then let's give it a try. Shuichi, go for it. Uh, uh, I'm a little nervous. I'm just sort of plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me. And I flicked on the flashback light. And at that moment, once again... The world warped. Yeah. Name, class, family, friends. My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness, a scene played. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? Oh man, they all died. It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. Sounds like the ultimate hunt. What was that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Huh? Why? Why was I at my own funeral? That just doesn't make sense! What? A funeral? You too, Shuichi? I see. It would appear we all remembered the same thing. The fuck's going on? What does it mean? Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? Why? What's going on? What was the funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. 
Nothing else. No way. Maybe we already dead? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Jeez, this is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our memory of our funeral. Then... What was it? I mean... It was probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? School festival? That's right. Yeah, it was probably a memory from a play we did for the school festival or something. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? Of course! If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, but aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival together? Well, that's... That's... We'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistaking that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, logic cannot be relied upon here. Okay, good. Come to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me! I'm alive, hail and hearty. <laughs> hearty? Because you get a heart on every time you see me. Oh, yeah! Oh, I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? What? Uh, stay in your lane. Oh. I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. Disappointment. Huh? A disappointment? <laughs> it's true. This flashback light was a real letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Talk about a disappointment. Nuh uh. No, talking not talking about the memory. Talking about you guys. Huh? What? It's a lie. Uh, no, it's nothing. I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place. But more importantly, where's si uh, the, the memory of the funeral we saw? It can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. But where is Sayaka? That's the question. Hey look, there's, there's a Monokuma car. I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hint. That would help, but... Hmm. I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out, clear my head. Alright, free time again. So, I feel like someone had told me before how to get a, um... How to get some extra scenes. I'm going to see if I can look back really quick and find anything. I may need you guys to give me a hand if I can't. Alright, so... This is the, uh, the comment I was looking for. Here's a hint for unlocking fan service in Chapter 3. Have gift number 111 in your inventory. On the morning when the Monocubs summon everyone to the gym, talk to Himiko in the courtyard before going to the gym. And I did go and check before I pulled this up. I do have number 111, it's Gun of Man's Passion. Model of an imaginary weapon. It's powerful, but only the worthy may fire it. Embrace it to feel a man's fantasy. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. So I've got it already. Um, so I just need to keep that in mind whenever Monocubs call us to the gym in the morning. Presumably at some point soonish. Um, to talk to Himiko. So anyway. That's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. I'm almost out of save slots, unsurprisingly. There's only 30. And I'm at 27 now, so... going to have to start writing over them. That's alright, though.
Um, obviously that computer I think is really important. The power to make new worlds is kind of making me think of the, uh, the computer system that the entire game took place in in the second game. Where, uh, you know, they were all like in a computer program. It kind of has that kind of feeling to it. But also, if they're dead, potentially they're in the computer. I guess. I don't know, really. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!